Donald Trump tweeted about you in 2014, writing, Snowden is a traitor. When our country was great, do you know what we did to traitors? Meanwhile, his pick for CIA director, Kansas Congressman Mike Pompeo, has called you a liar and a criminal, and in at least one interview also called for your execution. What's your reaction? I wonder when it is that he thinks America was great. Because if you remember what we did to traitors in 1776 and afterwards, we made them president. We're a country that was born from an act of treason against a government that had run out of control. Now, this is not to say that breaking the rules is something that should happen all the time, but we should always make a distinction that right and wrong is a very different standard than legal and illegal. The law is no substitute for morality, here or then. Are you saying what you did was right? I think, yeah. Or I, legal, I, or I, both? I would not have done it if I didn't believe it was right. But you would acknowledge it was illegal? I definitely would say uh, it's pretty sketchy there. But look, every act of progression in our nation's history has involved tension with law. Whether it was the abolition of slavery, whether it was the enfranchisement of women, uh, whether it was the birth of our nation, laws were broken. And that's because the laws were wrong. There is a lot of talk out there, including among top-ranking intelligence officials, that Vladimir Putin may hand you over to the United States as a good well, well gesture uh, to the Trump administration. How concerned slash nervous are you about that possibility? <laughs> I'm actually kind of encouraged. Encouraged? For completely different reasons. Uh, it wasn't so many years ago that people were saying, this guy's a Russian spy. But countries don't give up their spies. And if my recent criticism of the Russian government's internet policies, uh, criticisms of their human rights records, have been so severe that even my greatest critics in the intelligence community are now saying, oh yeah, he's a liability, they want to get him out of there, that's a vindication. A vindication of what? The fact that I am independent, the fact that I have always worked on behalf of the United States, and the fact that Russia doesn't own me. In fact, the Russian government may see me as a sort of a liability. So you wouldn't mind if Putin said, extradited you and said, here you go, President Trump? Well, who wouldn't? I mean, that would obviously be something that would bother me. That would obviously be something that would be a threat to my liberty and to my life. Uh, but what I'm saying here is that you can't have it both ways. You can't say this guy is a bad guy who's like a, a Russian tool or something like that. At the same time, you say he's going to be traded away. What I'm proud of is the fact that every decision that I made, I can defend. 